Okay, uh, obviously Scotland play Italy tomorrow uh, in the Six Nations first round of, of, of games. Um, Scotland are favourites. Uh, Italy showed glimpses in games last last year uh, that if they could string those little glimpses into a whole performance, they, they would have had a much better results. Now, on the Scottish side of things, the reason why they're favourites is they are playing some really good rugby. Let's, let's not deny that. The problem with Scotland is they seem to rush the play a lot. So what we need to see from Scotland in order for them to not only win this game, but actually to, to go on and uh, possibly win every game and have a chance of actually winning the, the Six Nations for the first time, because the last time they won the tournament it was the Five Nations back in 1999, game management, decision making and kicking responsibility. If all the backs take kicking responsibility, Finn Russell plays better. If it's more him and, and, and Peter Horn, that's where problems can arise. Um, it's 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 the decision making, kicking from hand, and and on penalties and free kicks. You know, kicking out on the full has been an issue before. Missing touch has been an issue before. The the actual style of play that Scotland play in attack is very very nice on the eye. Um, it's a bit unstructured, but it's it's very nice. It's very fluid. Two other issues they have is is, is defence, and sometimes um, discipline. Uh, defence has been highlighted as a problem where they are very Civ like at times. Um, the autumn international against Wales highlighted a lot of problems as well when the pace of the game slows down. Scotland's too impatient. They need to have some patience as well. On the Italy side of things, um, they just need to to just keep it simple, uh, keep it structured. Uh, we know the Italian defence when they, they first stop tackling is very, very good. Their fitness has m remarkably improved over the last decade. Uh, so their first off tackles are good. The breakdown, their, their pack is always very mobile and very powerful. Um, we have seen, though, this season in the Pro 14 that their club size, Treviso and Zebra, are massively improved from where they were uh, when, the, when the Pro League was set up and, and the Italian sides joined. They have massively taken strides uh, the last couple of seasons. And... What they've got to do is is there are some exciting backs like Minotzi uh, coming through and, and Carlo Canna and, and, and Tommy Allen have both improved their goal kicking. Uh, Carlo Canna is a, a very skillful player. Uh, Tommy Allen is a very skillful player, but it's 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 consistency with them. Um, what we are going to see, though, is one thing that hampers the Italians is discipline and decision making as well. If they can just keep it simple um, and, and, and slow the game down, that will frustrate Scotland. They are the away team. They're not expected to win. I can say Conor, I can see Conor O'Shea going the pressures off, but if, if Italy can keep their defence solid, Scotland tend to rush the play. When it's when it starts slowing down, they they try and force the play. They try and force the play. They they try and force the the pass, the miss pass, and that's where issues happen with Scotland. Um, I'm going for a Scottish win, uh, but I think as we saw today with France Wales goal kicking, yep, yeah, goal kicking. Now Scotland have a, a number of goal kickers in the side. And Italy have now got several goal kicks in their side as well. So it's not as if um, uh, there's some bad kickers out there, but we saw the amount of missed kicks from good kickers uh, tonight in the France-Wales game. That, that was the difference. Missed kicks can prove crucial. So you have to take the points when they're there. And it's also when you are given the choice to kick the goal for the corner, what is the appropriate option? So decision-making. Um, it's going to be a fun game. Uh, the weather conditions have obviously played havoc tonight as well with the Wales-France game. Uh, it was it was trying to snow at one point during that game. It was raining or sleeting throughout, so it was horrible conditions to play in. Hence the Huge bar of soap incident that is going to be on grandstand what happened next at some point. Um... Now, Scotland has avoided the worst of the snow, uh, but it's going to be cold, very cold. So, you know, handling will be interesting. But there we go. I'm going for a Scottish win. I'm going for Scotland by 10, but I could be wrong. Um, you know, I've only got one prediction right, and that was the, the Wales-France game was decided by missed kicks of goal. That is the only prediction I've got right so far. And I wasn't overly impressed with either side in that first game. If Scotland are to, to, to leapfrog Wales in the standings and possibly take the Grand Slam and take it to Ireland, they have to win games like this well. And they have to be more patient in possession rather than rushing to try to get the, the miracle try every time. And their defence needs to shore up. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your thoughts below on, on what you think the scoreline will be tomorrow and, 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 and what you expect. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.